Good afternoon from Hastings College and French Memorial Chapel. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the Hastings College Honors Convocation. Between this event and our academic showcase, which was held virtually on Wednesday, our annual end of the year celebration of excellence features all of the good work that has happened over the course of this academic year, both inside and outside of the classroom. Academic showcase presentations and posters remain available online at hastings.edu slash AS. Thank you to everyone who gave a presentation and shared your knowledge and talents with us. I would also like to recognize Alpha Chi for their leadership in organizing academic showcase and coordinating these presentations. Thank you to professors Dr. Jessica Henry and Dr. Amanda Solom, as well as Academic Showcase co-chairs, Caitlin Bierman and Michaela Bailey. The Reverend Greg Allen Pickett will now open our proceedings with an invocation. Hello to the Hastings College Honors Convocation. My name is Greg Allen Pickett. I'm the pastor at First Presbyterian Church of Hastings and have been covering the chapel here at Hastings College for the last year. First of all, I want to say congratulations to all who are here for the Hastings College Honors Convocation. Congratulations on your achievements and the good work that you have done. I'm sorry we can't be doing this in person, but I'm glad to be celebrating these achievements with you. I will open us with a prayer of invocation. Let us pray. God of love, God of wisdom, we thank you for those gifts of love and wisdom that you bestow upon us. May we always remember to hold them in balance. Our strength and growth as members of the Hastings College community comes from approaching wisdom with loving hearts and applying the wisdom we have learned to make the world a more loving place. We ask your blessing upon these women and men who we honor today for their achievements. We celebrate their capacity for creativity, for critical thinking, for focused effort. We are grateful that the students and their families entrusted the faculty and staff of Hastings College to help them grow holistically in mind, body, and spirit. Thank you for the confidence you have given to the students and faculty that we honor today to discover and explore new possibilities. Thank you for the wisdom you have bestowed upon them to discern what is right and good and just. And thank you for the love that you share with them, that they are inspired to share with others through their work. Enable them to draw upon all they have achieved and learned at Hastings College as they go out into the world prepared to respond to the questions and concerns of tomorrow. We ask all of this in your holy name. Amen. We have a student body composed of high achievers, and despite the number of awards we'll bestow today, we are only acknowledging a fraction of the good work that has occurred all year long at Hastings College. For this reason, a list of additional awards is included on the program. A link to the program is online at hastings.edu as. Congratulations to you for a job well done. You are why Hastings College is such a special place, and we thank you for your many contributions. I get the joy of kicking off our awards this year by announcing the invited faculty lecturers for 2020-21. Each year, the Hastings College community honors two faculty members by inviting them to present an all-college lecture on a topic of their choosing. Faculty nominate five of their peers for the two coveted spots. The final selection is made by a vote of the Hastings College student body. The lectureship is on the most prestigious honor bestowed on faculty members by our most important constituents, our students. It is my pleasure today to announce the two invited, invited faculty lectures for 2020-21. Jessica Allen Pickett, Assistant Professor in Teacher Education, and Bruce Batterson, Associate Professor of Business Administration. Congratulations to you both. I look forward to your lectures. We will now continue with additional awards, which are being announced via videos submitted by faculty and students. First up, Alpha Chi. Everyone, my name is Brianna Fluki, and I am the president of the All Discipline Academic Collegiate National Honor Society on campus called Alpha Chi. Today, we have three awards, including outstanding first year student, outstanding and second year student, and outstanding faculty member to present. Each year, Alpha Chi honors 
outstanding first and second year students. This year we have one outstanding first year student and one outstanding second year student. These students are recognized for their contribution to the quality of the academic experience here at Hastings College. This year's first year or outstanding first year student award winner is Emma Downing. She is majoring in history with a minor in psychology. Emma is very impressive as a member and the secretary of the HCLS committee, as well as a Scott Scholar. Dr. Erickson, one of Emma's teachers, wrote the following about Emma. I have known Emma since she was a senior in high school, and she impressed me from the very beginning. With her global perspective, humility, diligence, and professionalism, Emma knows no mediocrity in any endeavor she undertakes. Her standards are exacting, even in the most of mundane tasks. In my 15 years of association with the HCLS, I have seldom seen a student more dedicated and academically driven, and she represents the very best we hope for in Hastings College students. Compassionate, open-minded, curious, driven, and involved. Congratulations, Emma Downing. We also have a second-year student. This year's this year's Outstanding Second Year Student Award goes to Liette Erin Darville. Liette has proven to be an inspiring leader on campus after only one year. Dr. Eleanor Reeds, Liette's advisor, wrote, She's an extremely creative and intelligent thinker who always shows generosity toward her peers, often acting as a mentor. She has excelled in literature, creative writing, and publishing courses within our department. While she has also been pursuing a minor in business to which she brings previous experience. Dr. Oman has also relied on her for help with the Hastings College Press, and Leah is currently the co-editor of Spectrum, the student-run literary and arts magazine on campus. Leah is also an RA who works for admissions and the diversity and inclusion coordinator demonstrating her commitment to campus. Congratulations, Liette Darville. In addition to our student awards, we also have an Outstanding Faculty Member Award. This member is one who inspires academic excellence and achievement in his or her students. This faculty member is also someone who pushes their students to achieve their highest potential both inside and outside of the classroom. We recognize as students that our success would not be possible without faculty members who push us to live to our highest potential. This year we are honoring Dr. Rob Babcock as the outstanding faculty member. He has been a professor of history at Hastings College for the past 28 years. One of his students, Kaylin Day, wrote the following about Dr. Babcock. Through the transition into the block system, no other faculty member deserves this recognition of being the outstanding faculty member more than Dr. Babcock. During block four, Dr. Babcock taught three high level history classes all at once. The level of instruction did not waver during this block while teaching these courses at the same time. Everyone knows these classes require a lot of reading on the students, and Dr. Babcock also provides lectures every day that bring in multiple different books and sources to give each student a complete picture of what occurred during the period of history. His ability to communicate expectations and work with his students is uncomparable. With all this in mind, Dr. Babcock, I believe, still was able to give each student the attention that they individually deserved while working on himself as an instructor and providing timely feedback for students on assignments. Teaching three high-level courses and still keeping the same level of instruction for each of those classes is the reason that Dr. Babcock deserves this award, in my opinion. Every Hastings College student should take a class with Dr. Babcock. Congratulations, Dr. Babcock. Hello, I'm Dr. John Keene, Chair of the Biology Department. I'm here today to present the Wendell V. Showalter Award. Each year, the Biology Department awards the Wendell V. Showalter Award to a junior student in a medical or paramedical field that exemplifies the high standards that Dr. Showalter demanded of his students 
and who shows outstanding promise of making a contribution to their chosen healthcare field. Dr. Showalter was chairman of the biology department from 1956 to 1972 and took a particular interest in those students preparing for careers in healthcare. This award is made possible by a number of Dr. Showalter's former students who are now practicing physicians. It's my distinct pleasure to award this year's Wendell V. Showalter Award to a most deserving student, Mr. Billy McGuire. Congratulations, Billy. Wall Street Journal Award is given to the outstanding senior in the Department of Business and Economics. The entire faculty votes on this award. This year's recipient is hardworking, perseverant, optimistic, and absolute ace in the classroom. Her name is Jessica Clout. The Chemistry and Physics Department has two awards in the area of chemistry. The first award is the Dr. Frederick H. Mattis Chemistry Achievement Award. This award is given annually to the top first year student in the college chemistry course. This award honors Dr. Mattis, Professor Emeritus, who taught the first year college chemistry course at Hastings College from 1976 until 2004. This year's recipient of the Dr. Mattis Chemistry Achievement Award is Colby Grissart. Congratulations, Colby. The second award in the area of chemistry is the Arnold A. Alberts Outstanding Chemist Award. This award is presented annually to the top senior chemistry or biochemistry major. The late Dr. Alberts was a professor of chemistry at Hastings College from 1956 until 1976. This year's recipient was also awarded the Chemistry Achievement Award when she was a first year student. This year's Arnold A. Alberts Outstanding Chemist is Camilla Lee. Congratulations, Camilla. Good afternoon. My name is Stephen Beaver, and I'm very happy to be here today. Dr. Donardo, Dr. Peterson, and I selected students from our physics program to receive one of two physics awards. We wish to recognize the exceptional academic achievements of our physics majors at the introductory as well as the advanced levels. Thanks, guys. In honor of Dr. Harry R. James, master teacher and chair of the physics department for 29 years, the James Physics Award is given to freshman physics majors who have demonstrated significant achievement. This year, we have two recipients of the James Physics Award. The recipients are Ryan Hunter and Tan Nguyen. Ryan and Tan, please come to the stage to receive your award. Congratulations. Throughout this year, I have thoroughly enjoyed working with Ryan and Tan during classroom and laboratory periods. They have asked a lot of good perceptive questions and provided even more thoughtful answers. Yes, they share similar positive traits, such as working late into the evening hours and asking questions in my office late into the evening hours. I'm sure that they will be vying for the top rank in their class for the next three years. Once again, congratulations, Ryan and Tan. The Welton Scholarship in Physics is in honor of William Welton, former physics major and HC graduate. This award was initiated by William's grandmother, Mrs. Pauline Matchett. This award is given to sophomore and or junior physics majors who have demonstrated excellent progress toward a degree in physics. This year, the recipients of the Welton Scholarship are Keaton Ludwig, Caleb Osmond, and Sarah Seppin. Caleb is in his junior year of study, while Keaton and Sarah are sophomores. Dr. Donardo and I have been very pleased with our excellent performances in our classes. During the fall of this year, Caleb needed to take my optics course as an independent study to stay on course to graduation. Consequently, Caleb and I met during evenings after soccer practice to discuss optical physics principles and perform laboratory exercises. In the beginning, to be honest, neither of us were looking forward to these sessions. But after a short time, we found that we would accomplish some excellent experimental results and have some enjoyable conversations due to having the physics department all to ourselves. Our meetings changed from being a burden into a welcome break from other activities. 
Keaton always comes to class prepared and ready to work on new material while being ready to field questions from his professors. During our recent trip to Fermilab and Argonne National Laboratory in Chicago, Keaton demonstrated his love of science and willingness to engage new ideas. Our tour guides appreciate his participation because when they asked for questions, he had some. Similarly, Sarah is one of my go-to students when I have questions during a class period. She is a joy to speak with about physics or any other topic. During our trip to Chicago, we had many laughs during meals while venturing into topics related to the day's tours or sights and sounds. We've been very lucky to have had her as part of our program over the last two years. Once again, congratulations, Keaton, Caleb, and Sarah. My name is Jessica Henry. I'm the chair of the Department of Communication Studies and Political Science. When the communication program was established at Hastings College, a family in Greeley, Colorado, established an endowed scholarship to honor their mother, Mabel Gray Newburn. During her lifetime, she paid special attention to helping young women achieve their dreams. As a result, the family asked that the recipient of this scholarship be a young woman majoring in communication or a related field. The student must also demonstrate a significant contribution to the community and the field of communication. This year, we will honor Courtney Hansen with the Mabel Gray Newburn Scholarship. Courtney is a junior double majoring in communication studies and philosophy. Courtney has been an impressive student and scholar, maintaining an A grade point average and presenting her work at conferences and at the academic showcase day. In addition, she has excelled as a member of the Hastings College speech team. In 2019, Courtney became the first Hastings College underclass student since 1997 to advance three different elimination rounds at the National Speech Tournament. And this year, Courtney was honored with two final round showcase performances. During her time at Hastings College, she has also worked in the Office of Marketing and Communication, where she has demonstrated a high aptitude for producing and evaluating effective mediated messages. Courtney is an advocate for many, and her kindness to others shows in everything she does. We want to thank Courtney for being a leader for our students in communication studies, and we want to congratulate her on this big honor, the Mabel Gray Newburn Scholarship. The two awards are Outstanding Communication Studies Scholar and Outstanding New Communicator. Both of these awards seek to recognize outstanding communication studies students at Hastings College. The first Outstanding Communication Studies Scholar Award seeks to recognize outstanding scholarship. And this year comes as no surprise. It's Allie Kennan. Congratulations, Allie. Allie's work has been recognized on the national level at the National Communication Association. And it's no surprise that her work is being recognized today. The second award is Outstanding New Communicator. And this award seeks to recognize someone who shows a lot of promise in the field of communication for years to come. This year, we recognize Courtney Hansen. Congratulations, Courtney. I've had the opportunity to observe both of these scholars and their work, and it has been a treat having them in my classes. They both embody a strong work ethic, and their work is substantial. Their work not only provides fruitful discussion, but avenues for future research. One of the ideals that we have for Lambda Pi Eta. So congratulations, Ali and Courtney. We look forward to seeing what you will do next. Hi, I'm Bob Amio. I'm the director of the Political Science and International Relations Program here at Hastings College. It's a tremendous honor to present the Tamara Babcock Endowed Scholarship today. This scholarship was established to honor the memory of the late Hastings City Planner and Hastings College uh, instructor, Mrs. Tamara Babcock. A graduate of Beloit College in Wisconsin with majors in French and environmental biology um, and of Indiana University Bloomington with a master's in um, and, uh, environmental policy. Mrs. Babcock taught political science at Hastings College until in 2001 she began serving as the Director of Developmental Services for the City of Hastings. She did so until her untimely death in 2008, after a long battle with cancer. 
Tam was known for um, her penetrating intellect, her insatiable curiosity, her unflappable grace, her high standards in the classroom, and well, I could go on and on. Suffice to say that Hastings has been a poorer place without her. It was a former student who set up the scholarship uh, in her honor, declaring Tam had an enormous impact on both Hastings College and the city of Hastings. I thought it was important that we remember her within the college community. The Tamara Babcock Endowed Scholarship is to be awarded to a student intending to follow a career in public policy, public health, or public administration. This year's recipient is a man of incredible curiosity whose love of learning is trumped only by his desire to make the world a better place. While his sense of duty has kept him on his family's farm this year more than any of us would have liked, his drive to excel and his passion for getting it right means that he will always put others before himself. Fiercely loyal, with a sense of justice, fairness, and the truth, this young man will make a fabulous elected official one day, one that Hastings College will be proud to call one of her own. Please join me in congratulating the 2020 recipient of the Tamara Babcock Endowed Scholarship, Mr. Jaden Smith. Hello, I'm Dr. Darcy Carr, Chair of the Teacher Education Program, and I'm delighted to be able to announce our two Elementary Education Scholarship Award winners. The Louise Walter Memorial Scholarship is awarded annually to two elementary education majors who will be seniors this next academic year. Louise Walter was a longtime elementary teacher and then served Hastings College from 1960 to 1983 as a professor of elementary education in the teacher education department. Her service to the college was marked by excellence as a teacher and mentor as a trusted and respected colleague, and as a person of the highest integrity. Our first award winner exemplifies these characteristics. She is a standout both in the classroom and on the court. As a student, both her professors and her peers can count on her to be prepared for class. She's read and thought through the material to contribute in meaningful ways. She works well independently and is a member of a team. Her positive attitude and enthusiasm will contribute to her being a teacher leader as she enters the profession. We are excited to announce Lucy Skoke as a recipient of the Louise Walter Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Lucy. Our second award winner is creative and especially bright and capable. She is inquisitive and thoughtful in her work, both as an individual and as a group member. She isn't afraid to ask questions that lead to her deeper understanding. If your day needs brightened, you can count on this individual to always have a smile. She exudes kindness and communicates absolute joy when she talks about her classroom experiences. Her interest in teaching young learners, kindergarten especially, was affirmed during her elementary block experience. When you envision that perfect kindergarten teacher, this is it. We're so excited to announce Victoria Levine as a recipient of the Louise Walter Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Victoria. I am honored to announce the recipients of two of the secondary education awards. The first, the Dr. James L. Locke Secondary Education Scholarship was established to honor the memory of our dear friend and colleague, Dr. James Locke. Dr. Locke was our Director of Field Experiences and Education faculty member from 2005 to his retirement in 2017. Prior to his work at Hastings College, he had a successful career at Adams Central as a secondary vocal music teacher and then high school principal. Dr. Locke is remembered for his intellect, his musicianship, his humor, and for the emphasis he placed on building authentic relationships with students. The kindness, compassion, and never-ending desire to continue to learn that Dr. Locke exhibited is found in this award winner. She is inquisitive in all aspects of the teaching profession. She seeks out opportunities to build her experiences. She demonstrates skill and intuitiveness as she designs and teaches her lessons. And her positive attitude has been rather obvious during this interesting time for her clinical experience. Her understanding of the absolute importance of forming and maintaining positive and developmentally appropriate relationships make her an excellent choice for this year's Dr. James L. Locke Secondary Education Scholarship. Please join me in congratulating Kylie Kaler. Our second scholarship is the Dwayne E. Freeman Memorial Scholarship. 
It was established to honor an outstanding junior secondary education major for his or her senior year. Dwayne Freeman served public schools as a math teacher and coach and as a Hastings Public Schools administrator. Throughout his career, Dwayne always maintained that education was the great equalizer. He also encouraged young men and women to be involved in activities. This award winner exemplifies these characteristics. His extreme good nature and positivity is infectious. He has a genuine interest in how others are doing and is willing to stop and take the time to ask and listen. This quality will serve him well as an educator as he works to build relationships with his students. His interest in becoming the best teacher he can leads him to ask deep thinking questions, not only of his professors and his peers, but also of himself. When you visit with this fun-loving individual, you'll not only get a sense of his love for being the best teacher he can be, but also for his love of baseball. His commitment as a college student athlete has made him a better and well-rounded individual. These qualities make Jared Case an excellent choice for the Dwayne E. Freeman Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Jared. As chair of the Department of History, Philosophy, and Religion, it is my distinct privilege to present the following awards to students of outstanding merit. The Religion Book Award goes this year to Heather Hartman. In choosing Heather for this award, Professor of Religion Dr. Jean Harriet offered the following commendation. Heather came to Hastings College to pursue a religion degree as she planned to enter ministry. Her journey has taken her to unexpected places. As she graduates, she is rethinking ministry and is exploring the right place to live out her faith. She fits the model of a student who loves to learn. She studied quite a bit of history as well as religion, took Latin at Hastings College, and leads with a broad understanding of religion, faith, and tradition. We have enjoyed her questioning mind and her dedication to her work. Congratulations, Heather. In history, the recipient of the Doctors Philip and K. Jordan Endowed Scholarship is Emma Downing. Emma is an exemplary student, demonstrating broad interest and great ability. She is an enthusiastic learner and makes a truly impassioned William Lloyd Garrison. The Elmer B. Van Horn Memorial Scholarship we present to Tyler Huntsman. This award recognizes an outstanding student in the area of Venetian studies who must also have presented a conference paper result relating to espionage in early modern Europe. The Clement F. Bridenhagen Memorial Scholarship goes this year to Sam Johnson in recognition of his excellent scholarship, his wide-ranging interest, and his strong work ethic. Finally, it is my honor to present the department's highest award, the Reverend Joseph Kyle Memorial Scholarship to Olivia Perez for her perceptive analysis, her deep interest in the human past, and of course her keen sense of humor. The faculty of the department are truly privileged to work with such an outstanding group of scholars. Thank you and stay healthy. I'm Dr. Robert Babcock, faculty advisor for Phi Alpha Theta, the National History Honor Society at Hastings College. It's my pleasure to award the Sarah Jane Gardner um, Phi Alpha Theta History Award. Sarah Jane Gardner was a beloved history professor at Hastings College from 1965 to 1990. Uh, she earned her bachelor's degree from the University of Arizona in three years in and around juggling a family. Uh, she rep reputedly wrote her dissertation at Washington State University in American Studies in six months after farming her children out with her mother. It should be no surprise then that history honor students have chosen her as their patron saint to name this award over after. This award goes for 2020-2021 to Rachel Smaltz. Uh, her peers in Phi Alpha Theta have missed Rachel's uh, social organizing and uh, ebullious spirit, Rachel in Sarah Jane Gardner style, has been trapped in an apartment in Darlington, England, studying Bulgarian online from the American University of Bulgaria for this past semester. We will welcome her back in the fall. We will welcome her organizational skills and we will welcome the original research presentation that she will make as a recipient of the Sarah Jane Gardner Award. The forensics team is excited to announce two awards for honors convocation today. Woo 
The first is the Kevin Heinemann Outstanding First Year Speaker Award. This award is nominated by the speech team and voted on by the speech team. And this is what a couple members have to say about this recipient. She's a shining light and brings joy everywhere she goes. She isn't afraid to put passion into her speeches. She's grown so much over the course of the year, and we know this is only the beginning for her. Her drive and talent will take her many places. The first time I saw this person perform, I knew she was going to be a national champion one day. She was already a national champion quality that I could see at our first work week in August. She isn't just a great performer. She spends countless nights working late in the team room and she res relentlessly works on her speeches until they continually get better and better. She has such positive energy and is always so much fun to go to tournaments with. I can't wait to see what she does from here. I know her path is just lined with greatness. She represents everything HC Forensics is. Passion, grit, and kindness. The 2020 Kevin Heinemann Outstanding First Year Speaker goes to Nikki Desiare. Congratulations! The second award is the Pi Kappa Delta Outstanding Speaker of the Year. This is nominated by the coaching staff, voted on by the coaching staff, and is the highest honor that a forensicator at HC can attain. This recipient is a second year student, uh, someone who has put so much passion and energy into everything that he does, no matter what, he is always looking for the next way to improve himself. He is a kind, kind soul and is always working to unify the team. As uh, Dr. Austin McDonald says of this student, Sam is the full package. He's a hard worker, an earnest advocate, and a supporter of his peers, maintains a contagious enthusiasm. He represents so much of what HC values. It is my honor to announce Sam Johnson as the Pi Kappa Delta Outstanding Speaker of the Year. Congratulations. I'm Benjamin Waller, Chair of the Department of Languages and Literatures, and these are the award winners for the 2020 Honors Convocation. First up is the Stephen Lingwall Senior English Award awarded to one of our top graduating seniors. And this year the award goes to Jess Trad uh, from Wisconsin. And um, congratulations, Jess. Next, we've got the uh, <coughs> Dwayne and Cindy Strassheim Scholarship awarded to a rising junior or senior. This year, the award goes to Liette Darville, all the way from the Bahamas. And finally, our um, Art and Eunice Langvart English Scholarship, which is awarded to a rising senior and entails a public presentation. This award this year goes to the Omaha native Hannah Gailey. Congratulations to all of our students. Hello, I'm Dr. Pedro Vizoso. I am Associate Professor of Spanish at the Department of Languages and Literature here at Hastings College. Um, and I'm here to present the Clara Almond Award. Mm, the Clara Almond Award uh, was named in honor of Clara Almond, who was a professor of Spanish here at Hastings College from 1921 to 1958, and goes to a rising senior who is majoring or excelling in a foreign language, but also majoring in another field. It is my great pleasure this year to give the Clara Almond Award to Brendan Boatwright. So thank you, Brendan, for your magnificent job in Spanish and congratulations. Hello, this is Dr. Mark Hall, Chair of the Department of Mathematics and Computer Science. Each year, the department chooses a student who it feels stands out among all graduating seniors. This student should not only have a strong academic record, but also have served as an inspiration and role model for other students. This year, the Outstanding Senior in Mathematics and Computer Science Award goes to Courtney Dittmer. Congratulations, Courtney. 
Hello, friends. My name is Louis Eckhart, and I am the chair of the Department of Music and Theater here at Hastings College. It is my distinct pleasure to present two awards to two amazing students today that are active in the Hastings College Music Program. The first award is the Hastings College Outstanding Performer Award. This award is given to a senior or a student with senior status who is an exceptional solo performer, as well as a contributor to the department. Selection is made by vote of the music faculty. This year's Outstanding Performer Award is presented to Caitlin Schreiner. The next award is the Hastings College Outstanding Senior in Music Award. This award is given to a graduating senior who has exhibited a high level of performance, service, and scholarship to the department. Selection is made by vote of the music faculty. This year's Outstanding Senior in Music Award is presented to Alex Dominguez. To Caitlin and Alex, we are so proud of both of you and can't wait to see and hear all of the wonderful music you will be making and accomplishments you will achieve in the future. Best wishes to you and best wishes to everybody. Hastings to thee. Hello everyone, my name is Annette Vargas and I'm the head of the theater program here at Hastings College. Today is my honor to announce two theater awards to two very deserving students. The first award is the Harold Schiffler Award from Alpha Psi Omega, our theater honorary. Alpha Psi Omega National Theater Honorary members choose one student each year as an exemplary representative of the program. The award is named for Dr. Harold Schiffler in honor of the high level of excellence on stage and off stage in the classroom that he inspired at Hastings College. This year's Harold Schiffler Award goes to Cameron Rogers. Let's give Cameron Rogers a round of applause. We are so excited about what you will bring to the theater program in the future. The second award is the Outstanding Theater Student Award. Each year, the theater faculty honors a senior theater student for their outstanding work over their career in the theater program. This year's Outstanding Theater Student is Greer Anderson. Let's give Greer a round of applause. We are so proud of you and looking forward to seeing what amazing theatrical experience you have coming your way and your very bright future ahead. Thank you very much, you guys. We love you. Hello, my name is Aaron Bowden, and it is my privilege to present this year's Student Awards from the Department of Visual Arts. Our first award is the Award for Creative Engagement. It is presented to a student in their first or second year of study. This year's recipient is a student who has shown phenomenal work ethic in their art courses and is a humble leader who engages her work with enthusiasm and has proven to be a positive member of our creative community. This year's award for creative engagement goes to Sydney Waldron. Our second award, the Award for Outstanding Achievement in Art, is given to a junior or senior art major. This year's recipient has shown a strong readiness for professional activity within the field of art. Whether it be working summers at the Bemis Center for Contemporary Art in Omaha, or helping to install our chapter of Kappa Pi, an international arts honorary society, or helping and contributing to the operations of the galleries in JDAC. This student not only contributes to the arts community, but also maintains a high level of, pr level of production in her own studio. This individual's development of a strong professional practice has resulted in a body of work that is challenging, earnest, and playfully blurs the lines between sculpture and painting. As a department, we wish you all the best as you move into your graduate studies. This year's Outstanding Achievement in Art Award goes to Melissa Loney. Our field is so much rooted in experience and interaction, both with each other and materials. The Department of Visual Arts and myself would also like to recognize the work, flexibility, and resilience that all of our students have exhibited during these trying times. We cannot wait to see you back in the studio. Congratulations again to this year's award recipients. Hi everyone, my name is Kaylin Day and I'm the current Student Association President. I am presenting the 2020 Most Outstanding Senator and Executive Council Member Awards. Each year, the Student Association recognizes one outstanding Executive Council Member for their efforts they put forth that went above and beyond what was expected. This year's Most Outstanding Executive Council Member has served the Student Association for the past two years on the Banquet Committee. 
She is a kind, gentle leader and has spent countless hours ensuring that homecoming, Boar's Head, and Mayfay are all planned to perfection and everybody is included. Not only does she work with banquets, she is the president of the Student Alumni Association. She works extremely hard and has never expected recognition for her efforts. Please join me in recognizing the 2020 Most Outstanding Executive Council Member, Jessica Clout. Along with that, the Student Association recognizes one outstanding senator for their efforts put forth that go above and beyond the call of duty. This year's Most Outstanding Senator has served the Senate for the past two years. As a senator, he asked strategic questions, provided constructive comments, and has always brought positive perspective and leadership to the Senate meetings. He worked well with his peers by actively listening and proposing compromises for the betterment of the student body. It is my pleasure to announce the 2020 Most Outstanding Senator Award to Parker Fleming. Thank you. Hello, Hastings College. My name is Ethan Molifua. I'm a junior studying elementary education and special education, and I hold the position for the Student Education Association as secretary. I'm here to announce the winner of the Student Education Association Outstanding Senior Award, and it will go to our president of the Student Education Association, Mackenzie Daniels. Congratulations, Mackenzie. The Von Drack Outstanding Advisor Award is awarded annually to a faculty or staff member who has made a significant contribution to the students of the college as an advisor. The criteria for the award include making an extra effort to ensure the quality of the advisor-advisee relationship, helping students both academically and personally, and, and ensuring consistent av availability for students. This year's winner, Annette Vargas, easily meets these qualifications. I will quote from one of Annette's nominators to illustrate her commitment to quality, quality advising. Mm -hmm. Annette goes beyond the typical advising responsibility. She has shown equal concern for advisees personal needs and academic needs. She is always available to meet with students and she demonstrates creativity in developing not only her program of study, but the entire institution's program of study. And from another nominator, the level of patience Dr. Vargas displayed for me was remarkable. She's passionate about helping students find who they are. She shows that she cares more than just academically. She makes herself available to students and values integrity. Please join me in congratulating our 2020 Von Drack Outstanding Advisor Award winner, Annette Vargas. Thank you so much. This is truly a surprise. And, um, go Hastings! <laughs> Yay! In 2020, Hastings College continues the tradition of presenting an annual achievement award to a deserving member of the faculty. The award recognizes unusually significant and meritorious achievement in teaching. The sponsors of the award are Nancy, Se Nancy and the late Don Seaton, both HC alumni. Each year, a number of faculty are nominated and a committee of students, faculty and administrators have the pleasure of reading all the letters of the nomination and then the challenge of, collect of selecting a single winner. Our winner this year is Dr. Laura Logan, the recipient of the Faculty Achievement Award. One nominator remarked that Dr. Logan strives to create the most engaging classroom culture possible. Dogged in her pursuit, many students every semester learn to shine and demonstrate knowledge and skills previously untapped. Success in Dr. Logan's courses is especially sweet. It is difficult and it is earned. There are a number of lives that have changed academically and emotionally due to, the, to meeting success in a Dr. Logan class. Another nominator, nominator commented that Dr. Logan always has the student's best interest in mind. For her, the most important thing is that her students learn. She is what every educator should be, driven, caring, and excellent. Please join me in congratulating the 2020 winner of the Don and Nancy Seton Hastings College Faculty Achievement Award, Dr. Laura Logan. I'm so incredibly honored. Thank you so much. And it's so nice to see human beings. <laughs> It is now time for the presentation of the Who's Who Awards and the 2020 Bronco Award. Jordan Ishmael, co editor of the Collegian, will announce the recipients. 
Hi, I'm Jordan Iswell, and I'll be announcing this year's Who's Who in Bronco Awards. The Who's Who Award was instituted at Hastings College in 1940. At that time, it was determined that approximately 10% of each senior class was selected to receive this honor. Earlier this spring, Hastings College students and faculty voted for seniors and for a committee composed of two faculty members and three members from the junior class. This committee was assigned the task of evaluating the vote in the final selection. In tabulating the results of the vote on the senior ballot, senior votes carry the most weight. Junior and faculty votes have a slightly less weight. Sophomore and first year students have the least. At this time, it is my pleasure to announce the 2019-2020 Who's Who Awards. The student body of Hastings College, in appreciation of constructive college citizenship, leadership in extracurricular activities, and worthy contribution to the life of the college, is pleased to name the following students to the 2020 Who's Who of Hastings College. Camilla Lee. Basil Rabeda. Gabrielle Grasso. Greer Anderson, Nolan Comacher, Caitlin Bierman, Celeste Borg, Jessica Clout, Kaylin Day, Cassidy Ostrand, Bryce Eigsty, Hannah Adams, Jenny Borg, Lauren Fedden, Sophia Pankratz, Becca Garner, Samuel Reimer, Riley Ostendorf, Holden Banks. We'll now move on to the Bronco Award. The Bronco Award was established in 1924 and is the oldest continual non-academic tradition at Hastings College. It was the intent of the originators of the award, quote, not to honor the recipient, but rather to stimulate thought, discussion, and action among Hastings College students along the line of bettering the life and activities of their school. Selection to who's who is a prerequisite for consideration of an individual to receive a Bronco Award and each person named to who's who is a potential Bronco Award winner. The Who's Who Selection Committee nominates several names to the college's leadership team, which then makes the final selection. This year, we have three Bronco Award winners. For your boundless positive energy, for welcoming others into conversations, for your love of all things, Hastings College, for sometimes marching in step and sometimes following your own beat, for managing the Scott Studio Theater stage and so much else. Hastings College is proud to present its highest honor, the 2020 Bronco Award to Greer Anderson. For being a dependable friend, for leadership in turbulent times, for helping fire up campus, for being the back who didn't do anything halfway, for pushing his peers to embrace the only option shouldn't be the only option, Hastings College is proud to present its highest honor, the 2020 Bronco Award, to Kaylin Day. And now for our final Bronco Award. For your warm-hearted commitment to change, for bringing ideas to life through the arts, for expanding your horizons and occasionally your hair color, for introducing campus and the world to Pepper, for contributing to the bars of Pacha Soap, Hastings College is proud to present its highest honor, the 2020 Bronco Award, to Hannah Adams. That concludes these awards. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you, Jordan, and congratulations to all of the Who's Who recipients and our Bronco Award winners, Hannah Adams, Greer Anderson, and Kaylin Day. We are incredibly proud of you. Before we conclude, I would like to acknowledge the many individuals and offices on campus that work together to make this honor, honors convocation a success, especially Mike Howie, Jennifer Beam, Ross Struess, and Camille Castle, who made this broadcast possible and produced all of the awards. These will be mailed to recipients or made available for pickup later this month. Thank you to everyone who joined us today and helped us from wherever you are. Now is normally the time I would ask you to stand with me in the chapel and join the Hastings College Choir in singing the alma mater. While this is not possible this year, feel free to stand 
at home and sing along with the performance directed by Dr. Fritz Montfort from 2011. Thank you again for joining us and be well.